Joint Stock State Holding Company Tapas presents Radio Electronic Surveillance Station Kalchuga. The Kalchuga station provides for detection and recognition of practically all currently known ground-based targets, naval targets, airborne targets with emission sources within a frequency range of 130 to 800,000 MHz. All carriers, irrespective of the type, as well as ground-based complexes are equipped with active radiolocation facilities which emit signals during any military or combat mission. The fact that parameters of signals emitted by them are different makes it possible to carry out a selective identification procedure. The Kolchuga station doesn't emit any signal itself but receives signals emitted by other sources which means that it can see and recognize emission sources being at the same time invisible for them. The complex consisting of three stations enables to simultaneously and independently of each other solve two different tasks. The Kolchuga complex simultaneously utilizes two different methods. The triangulation method is used to detection, identification and determination of coordinates of any emission sources at the distance of up to 600 km in the depth and up to 1000 km along the front. The TDOA time difference of arrival method is used to process signals emitted by an aircraft transponder. Determination of coordinates and march routes of airborne targets with operating identification system transponders within a radius of up to 450 kilometers. The complex consisting of four Kolchuga stations also enables to determine altitude of airborne targets. The use of TDOA method makes it possible to track of up to 200 airborne targets and display the match routes on a digital map. All match routes and coordinates data, as well as target's location, is displayed on a digital location map. Depending on such parameters as signal frequency, an emission source output power and radio waves propagation condition, the radius of action is up to 600 km when the triangulation method is used and up to 450 km when the TDOA method is activated. Such a considerable range largely surpassing active radar's range is achieved due to tropospheric propagation and technique of direct signal, which is not reflected from any emission source. Kolchuga stations are equipped with five antenna systems of meter, decimeter and centimeter band with narrow for far zone monitoring and wide for nearer zone monitoring diagrams. The Kolchuga station also has a separate antenna system targeting signals emitted by an aircraft transponder. The control of rotation is carried out automatically by means of computer or in the manual mode. Possibilities of antennas positioning with 360 degrees azimuth rotation. 
the current antenna position and direction of the emission source are shown on a digital location map and on the panoramic operator display. The Kalchuga stations are also equipped with a parallel 37 channel detection receiver which enables to instantaneously detect and analyze signal sources. Received frequency range is from 130 to 800,000 MHz. Radio channel field sensitivity is 110 decibel or watt up to 155 decibel or watt depending on the frequency range. Resolution of a laser panoramic carrier frequency gauge is 1 MHz within a 500 MHz band. Operational system used in the computer is a well-known Windows. All operations for detection, recognition and identification of radio emission sources are done automatically. The onboard computer performs analysis and statistical processing of the received signals as well as target recognition by comparing target parameters with the database. The results are stored in a volatile memory device and displayed on two monitors. The first monitor shows a digital location map and current radio electronic environment. And the other is used by the operator to control the station with the help of the computer. The received data may be either printed or transferred to a control post via a radio relay link. Survey control and coordinate setting of the station itself is realized with the help of an board navigation equipment on the basis of GLONASS and GPS Navstar satellite navigation systems. The complex may be conveyed to the deployment area with the help of a transport aircraft. The Kolchuga station is mounted on two trucks. The trucks have high cross-country capability and therefore the station may be quickly redeployed in area with any kind of terrain. The station's crew at around the clock operation consists of seven persons. The Kalchuga station is fitted out with an autonomous power supply unit, an air conditioner, ventilation heating and systems. The equipment is capable of operating at temperature range from minus 50 degrees up to 50 degrees Celsius that makes it possible to use it practically in any region of the world. High technical capabilities of the station enable it to detect and analyze signals with pulse and continuous emission. Identify such targets as flag complexes, long range and weapons control radars, air traffic control systems, friend or foe equipment transponders, reconnaissance aircrafts, warships and aircrafts of stealth type. The Kalchuga station doesn't have a complete analog in terms of aggregated technical characteristics, surpassing analogous equipment as regards main technical capabilities.